princesses. Today I'm going to be doing my November get ready with me I guess. I haven't really got that many new products to show to you guys. The main ones are going to be the, the Dastik eyeshadow palette. This is number four pastel dream which is really really pretty and then a few of the romance products. So I've got the glass stain water tints and then a gloss. And the rest of the stuff is just going to be random products so that um, I have some other things to put on my face. But if you're interested to see how I got this look then please just keep watching. Okay so I'm going to start out with a bit of primer because my skin is a little bit dry at the moment and it's been quite a while since I've actually put my skincare on. So I'm going to be using my Misha Glow Balm which I still absolutely love. I'm going to be mainly focusing this on my cheeks uh, because that's the part that is most dull I think. So I'm just scooping a little bit out with my finger there, rubbing it between my fingers and pretty much applying it like a moisturizer. I'm not rubbing too hard because um, I have got sunscreen on underneath so I don't want to mess that up. And I'm just going to pack a little bit. I've got a really nice scar here. It's a nice big red one from this cystic pimple which I haven't got one in ages, so I guess it was kind of like my time to get one again. Oh, I just really love the smell of this. So with that primer on, it's just a little bit sticky, like not terrible whatsoever. I'm going to be doing my foundation today, which is the Innisfree. Um, my foundation all day long wear in the shade 17N, because I didn't get any new foundations. Like I got a bunch of Innisfree stuff from the um, Vintage Filter collection. And then I pretty much just got whatever else I felt like. I'm really waiting for um, the Christmas releases. At the end of October at the moment. It's like the last week of October when I'm filming this. And there hasn't really been anything that is coming out that I've seen for Christmas. Um, and I'm trying to think about when the Christmas things are released. I think it's usually November, but usually you'd see like at least a little bit of whatever is going to be coming out, like a teaser in a way. I haven't seen anything. And I'm mildly worried that there aren't going to be Christmas collections this year, which kind of makes sense with, you know, a global pandemic, but I live for, okay, that's a strong thing. I don't live for Christmas, but I really like Christmas, <laughs> and that includes Christmas collections of things. I don't know what it is, just really, really like that sort of stuff. Like, I love limited edition, extra packaging, super cute, um, that sort of stuff, so I will be mildly disappointed. If there are no Christmas collection things this year, but I will be, I understand why they may not be. Or if they're going to be really delayed, I would be probably more disappointed if they were there but delayed because it takes so long to get stuck in New Zealand at the best of times. And so I haven't got anything, any reviews planned for December yet because I'm waiting for the Christmas collection. And as time goes by, because I pre film to, you know, be able to have my own job and be able to do everything. Yeah, I'm getting worried. So fingers crossed that by the time this comes up at least, there will be a bunch of Christmas stuff that is being released and I'll be getting my hands on it. Otherwise, I'll just be kind of going through and looking at stuff that I liked throughout the year but didn't buy because I liked other stuff better maybe. It's gonna be an odd year. I'm kind of thinking about content that I might like to make next year that is less review based and more stuff that is, you know, like stuff that I already own. I don't want to do like DIY things because I'm not the best DIYer and I don't have that much interest in DIY with makeup and stuff like that. So I'm trying to think about things like obviously like you have like shop my stash videos. But, I mean, looking at the collections that I have, like, do I want to bring back some of the collections and re-review them? A lot of them, though, I don't have the full collection anymore because I did get rid of some parts of them, so... I'm not 100% sure on that one. So now I'm going to set my skin using my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder and my fluffy brush. This one is from Real Techniques. It's just a powder brush. It's just really, really massive, which I like for a brush. And then because I want a bit of luminosity, I'm going to use my Hourglass Powder. This is the Ambient Lighting Powder in Ethereal Light. I'm going to use the same brush. I'm just going to do sort of like the high points. So I kind of do like my whole cheekbone area like this and my eye. Because it's easier because I'm using a gigantic brush. So I'm doing that. Nose. And then kind of like the upper lip and the chin. For brows, I'm just going to fill them in using my normal Innisfree Two-Tone Brow Kit in Dark Grey. 
and I'm gonna use my Zoeva Brow Line Brush 322 to do this. And a little mirror. This isn't like fancy or anything, I'm just filling them in so that they look like they match my um, actual hair. So the more uh, my natural hair color grows through, it's quite dark brown. It's like the darkest brown you can get without being black, basically. So for eyes, I'm gonna be using the Desic um, Pastel Dream palette. So this is the Desic Shadow Palette in number four Pastel Dream, which I really, really like. These are the colors here. You've got sort of like a very light, almost like apricot brown, a pink, and a dark, Sort of orangey brown down here and those three are the only mattes everything else is a shimmer you've got a white shimmer two pinkies kind of orange and then two shimmery browns down the bottom here as well so i'm going to actually try out one that i haven't used that much before so i'm going to be using this darkish brown in the crease and then this shimmery color on the lid i'm going to use this shimmery color in the inner corner i don't know what any of these are called um and then i'm going to see i might use this the outer third as well. So I'm going to use my crease brush. This is the Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease and I'm going to pick up this color here and I'm going to try and put that through the crease. So I really enjoy these shadows. I think that they are so so pretty. Um, I have never tried this brand before but I saw the palette and I just you know obviously had to have it. It's so nice. <laughs> it's quite expensive though. Or like a K-beauty brand. I put a little bit under the eye as well. Then I'm gonna use that shimmery white in the inner third of the eye. This is a really pretty color. It's just shimmery and white. I think it's kind of got like more pinky and purpley glitter in it though. So it's not like a champagne gold or anything, but that suits the palette really nicely. And since there are quite a lot of pinks, I like to have something that's not pink around the very inner corner of the eye. I just feel like it looks a bit nicer and brighter. Then using the same brush, I'm gonna be going in with the shimmery pinkish color. And I'm gonna put that on the middle part of the eyelid. This is a really pretty color. It's still, I think it's still pinkish. But it's quite light. And all of the shimmers are like so pretty, so beautiful. That like blends in perfectly with the matte color. It's very, um, this is a very subtle look today. I'm going to go in with just that little bit of that dark brown in the outer third and just touch with the brush like that. Put just a little bit in there without disturbing the shimmer too much and pull it just up into the crease a bit and that darkens it up just a little bit. So one of the eyes looks darker than the other because how the sunlight comes in from the side but it's really pretty. So I'm going to do my normal eyeliner, which is the Dolly Winkle Liquid Liner, and then I'm going to be using the same mascara as normal, which is the Hamish mascara. And then I will come back and show you how it looks. So here's how the eyes are looking before I fix my fringe. It's super subtle, and I just, yeah, I really like it. I really like this color combination because it's not too, like, overwhelming and bright. It's almost more like a neutral because the brown is more like a peachy or orangey brown. So to go with the more neutral eyes, I'm actually going to use one of the blushes from the Innisfree palette, which I have honestly been loving. So I'm going to use the middle peach shade, which I think is probably the one that I get the most use out of. And so I'm just going to put a little bit of peach there. I'm actually just really nice with the eyeshadow. This eyeshadow is kind of like a pinky, pinky peachy brownie, neutrally. So I do find with this palette that it works really well to apply it like this, but I always like to go over and just smooth over just a little bit with um, my powder brush. So I like to place the blush like that and then I'm just going to go over it like this. And it really just helps to sort of like buff away any of the harsh lines and that way I don't have to be so careful with the other brush. It just looks more natural for me. For the lips, I wanted to do something more fun with the Romand ones that I haven't shown you guys yet. These are the Romand um, Romantic Moonlight, I think these ones are called Glasting Tints. And I'm going to use number 9, which is called Soft Pool, which is the pinkest. And the other ones are a bit more red, but I'm just going to use like a really sheer layer of this. It's really light colour anyway. So this is how that color looks. It's super pretty um, and it's just really, really light. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna blot it just a little bit because I wanted to apply the gloss. Oh, this is so cute. 
It is um, number one Dreamland and it's like a little pastel gradiented gloss. It doesn't look pastel when you put it on the lips, it's just like clear and sparkly. And it has one of those really, I don't know why they use them, but they're like flat spatulas. So this is the end result. Thank you guys so much for watching this random little get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a few of the new products and a few of some of the really old ones that you probably don't see me use very often. Like the Hourglass um, Powder and the Misha Primer. Like I do use these products but I hardly ever show them to you guys because I'm consistently trying out new products. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!